What's up guys, it's Matters, this is a full tutorial on how to possibly play Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies a lot earlier than anyone would have if you just pre-ordered a GameStop, online, etc. Obviously there's a few certain ways you can get it like a day earlier, but sometimes you can actually get it a week earlier, so you can literally be playing Black Ops 3 Zombies a full week before the game comes out. Obviously Events Warfare they had Day Zero, that was just pre-ordering, that wasn't really like a secret thing but these are some really secret sort of classic ways that you can just play zombies early and some of them are actually pretty interesting that a lot of people didn't really talk about um so we're gonna go over those also and probably in other videos too because i have to look some up and try to look for really cool different sites and stuff like that to send them early um sometimes they're ghetto sometimes they're not trustworthy but you know if you if you want a game early I don't think it's illegal, technically. I don't, I don't even know how that works, but you have to go out of your way to get it, and you have to take some risks to get the game early. But these are some pretty easy ways, at least the beginning's easy ways, um, to get the actual game and play zombies. So let's just start off here. Pretty um, common one, I should say. It's what they call a mom and pop store. So basically, you go there. It's not a franchise. It's not like a GameStop or a Best Buy or anything like that. It's really just like a local sort of miscellaneous store where they sell like toys, games, and stuff like that. Especially if you live in like a suburb or a smaller town or a countryside or something like that um, they usually have just like some games shipped in all of the games are always shipped in a week or two early um, it doesn't matter what store you're in they're always shipped a week or two early so they're on stock when the actual game releases basically they have them there and the smaller stores don't necessarily really have to listen to like the companies and stuff because it's not like it's a franchise and they can be easily like penalized and stuff and like the franchise keeping on top of you know exactly what the each little store is doing it's just a little mom and pop store they're just there they're just they just bought it from the company and they have it in their sort of case and no one's really stopping them from really selling it unless activision just walks in and just sees them giving out black ops 3 really which would be bad but you know other than that I think you can get away with actually getting it a, a week early, possibly, even a few days, if you can try, like, oh, the game comes out in three days, can I just, you know, buy it now, I'm gonna be busy, or if you just say something, or if you're, like, friends with them, and you're just like, oh, yeah, I really love this game, can you, you know, get it for me early or something, or can I have it, um, and then a really sneaky way, I, I don't really like to do this, um, I know that sometimes if you know people that work at the store, obviously they would give it to you 100%. That's just the way it is. And also if you slide them like an extra 20 or you, if you say like, okay, you know, I'm willing to pay a bit more for it. Um, I don't really, I don't, I don't see myself ever doing that. I would be really awkward and be like, you know, I know this is like sort of illegal, not really, but like, can I just like pay more for this? I don't know. I would be really stupid with that. Um, but I do think, and I've, I've seen also that it's worked. It's, you know, it's worked for a ton of people. So if it's working, then it must be... A a good, I'm mean, not a good thing, but it must be a thing that people should try, people are doing, and people should do if you haven't done it already. Um, I would, I really wouldn't suggest doing that. I would just try asking. If not, then you would leave. But other than that, I think it's, you know, why not try? No other ways. I'm guessing a lot of people don't really know this. Sometimes Amazon, you know, Amazon, you pre-order there, they send it. It's like a guarantee the date comes out. But the thing is, if they're guaranteeing the day it comes out, they're always going to ship earlier. That's just the way Amazon works. They're always going to ship earlier to make sure their guarantee is on point. Um, usually, they sometimes ship a lot earlier than you expected. Actually, I ordered um, my PS4 off of Amazon. It was like a huge deal. Like, like Amazon Prime, I know Amazon Prime Day, that whole thing was really like crappy. But like the PS4 that was on sale for only like three hours, that's a pretty good deal. Um, so I got that, and then it came in like... A week earlier than expected it came in a lot earlier and I don't know if that's just because they just shipped it early or if they just really want to keep their you know guaranteed on point it was literally like the beginning of you know how it's like um, you know let's say 7 to 14 days or something um, it was right at the beginning of that 7 day mark or something like that so they really know what they're doing they really want to keep their sort of um, shipping lines correct and just good for the customers and make it seem like they're the best ever um, which obviously most cases they they are they're pretty good with they with what they do i should say um so especially with black ops 3 i think they know that they don't want you know like people getting it shipped late and they don't want people playing it late so try if you can pre-ordering it on amazon now the thing is you might be risking it coming a bit later or a bit earlier obviously you wouldn't want the earlier so that's sort of really really risky but if you are risking to to get the game early then you know there you go that's what that's something that you would do now a few other ways um, this is something we don't really know about, and I think everyone has access to this, um, if you got the Digital Deluxe Edition, 
Um, we'll be doing different, I'll be doing different videos on like different websites and stuff, but this is like the last sort of way that's sort of unknown to people and we don't really know yet if this is actually going to work. There's a bunch of different really weird things. So, on GameStop, if you look on GameStop's website and you go to the Digital Deluxe Edition, it says digital download available at 10 a.m., you know, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, I think, or something like that, or 9 a.m. Central Time. It's the same thing, basically. So, the problem is... On the PS4, it says, you know, available 12 a.m., and then it says pre-download at, I think it was November 4th, two days earlier than the actual game's release. Now, there might be this early sort of thing, and you know what they did with the Black Ops 3 beta? They released it about a couple hours early. They released it around 7 p.m. Eastern Time, the day before the beta was supposed to release, and I think they might be doing the same thing. I think they're going to release it a bit earlier. That's why they're doing the pre-download, so everyone has it downloaded, and then all of a sudden, they'll just announce that it's out, it's available, um, and there, there, there it's going to be. There. You'll have it right there. Now, the problem is... It, are they going to release, like, so is it going to be, like, a midnight release, or is it going to be, like, okay, so right when it's out, you can go to GameStop and go get it, and that's, it, there's no really midnight release, it's just, like, it's available now, it's, you can go there. Or are they going to just schedule everything so we know that it's going to come out at 8 p.m., and we know that we have to be at GameStop, or we have to be on our Xbox or PS4 or whatever uh, to be ready to download it and get all of our stuff and start playing the game. Um, we don't really know if that's going to happen yet. But there's some mixed dates there about you know when you can play it, etc. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what actually happens there. Um, but hopefully we get to play it on time. Hopefully, potentially we can play it earlier if we got it um, through the digital del deluxe or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, we'll just have to see. So like like the video, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.